Hi, this is Happy Bird from Happy Bird's Glitter Nest .blogspot .com. and today I'm going to show you how you can make these beautiful little translucent looking sugar blossom flower embellishments out of these Dollar Tree flowers. These were so easy to make and I really enjoyed these and this is something you can embellish your little paper crafts with or um, your craft projects for Christmas or for springtime anytime and I just think they turned out so pretty so let's get started and I'll show you how to make these okay so before we start you're going to need to choose your gloss and I've used both of these on this project and they both work very well the only difference is is the triple thick will dry um, much stiffer than the Mod Podge Super Gloss one coat gloss finish but um, they both work very well so I think I'm going to stick with the triple thick today but before we even start we have to mix up our glitters ahead of time so I'm going to be using the tail end, or almost the tail end, of this uh, Recollections glitter called Blush, and it's ultra fine. It's really important when you do this to use the ultra fine um, glitters, okay? And then I found this pretty glitter at Walmart. It was less than three dollars a jar, and it's um, Caribbean, and this is the brand name right here and it's ultra fine glitter as well and then I'll be using the Recollections ultra fine glitter in Glitz now you can use any um, iridescent ultra fine glitter that you can find it doesn't have to be this brand or any of these brands as long as it's ultra fine and the colors are light and bright then they'll work out perfectly. I did experiment with the darker colors like the dark reds, the dark greens, and just going by personal taste I just didn't think that it gave them the same effect. So when you're choosing the ultra fine glitters stick with light and bright. Okay? Alright, so um, to start I think I'll use this first. This is the iridescent one and I'm just going to put a little bit like this at the bottom of the cup. I don't know if you can see it. And I'm going to do the same thing here. About like that. Okay. Now I'm going to take this and just put a little in at a time um, even though this is a bright color if you start out with just a small amount and stir it up then you can see that it turns into a very pastel uh, translucent looking color See. And you can decide whether you want to add a little more or a little less. It's totally up to you. If you accidentally put in too much color, you can just go back and put in more of the white iridescent to balance it out. I might put a slight touch more in here, but I'm going to have to be careful not to put in too much. That looks good. I'm happy with that. So, I'm going to do the next one now, and I already have the white iridescent in here, so I'm going to put this pink in here. Actually, I'm going to use this side. Okay. Just a little bit, and then I'm going to stir it up, see if I like it. It's pretty. I think I want it 
a little bit more. Like I said, if you accidentally get too much, just put a little more white in there. Okay, I, I think I like this. That's a good color. Alright, so I'm going to set that aside. Okay, so now we have our colors ready. And I'm going to set these back here. And <clears throat> I'm going to take some of my triple thick. You can find this. I have a, I'll have a link to this on my blog. If you just click on this craft, uh, the picture of this craft, when you go to my blog, it'll open up and the link will be there for you. It's an Amazon link. And I just start out with just a, a few um, dollops. And the reason why I'm doing it this way, a little at a time, is because I don't want to waste triple thick. I don't want to pour a half a cup and then have you know part of it dry by the time I finish a ton of flowers. If I do it a little at a time and then close the lid in between, then I think it's a lot more frugal that way. Okay, so I showed you a pic um, earlier in this video of the flowers I bought. Now, as you can tell, I've picked a lot off here. These were in the Christmas section at the Dollar Tree, okay? And you can use any cheap old uh, um, artificial flower you want as long as it's a nice white bright color now it looks like the factory poked some holes in it there so I wouldn't use that but this is fine and I just pull it off just like that and just slip that out like that All right, so we have a petal and you're gonna use two petals for each flower but it'll look really pretty because We'll also add some dimension to it, and I'll show you how I do that as I go along. So I'm just pulling four little blossoms off. And it doesn't matter if they're curled or a little bit bent, because by the time you dip them into the triple thick or the Mod Podge one coat gloss, that uh, that you'll use, then um, it'll be fine because they'll kind of even out and they won't be sticking up all over the place. And what I mean by that is they won't be bent in half. So if you get any like this, you know, bent in half or something and like that, <laughs> don't worry about it. Okay. So, I'm going to take one at a time. And I'm just putting it in here, stirring it around, just a little bit like this. And then I'm just going to pull it up on the side of my cup. And I'm not going to take all of it off, I'm just taking a little bit of the drippy, extra drippy parts off. And then I'm just going to lay it down like that. And then I'm going to do another one. Do the same thing, pull it out. If you want to wear um, gloves, you can, but it doesn't bother me. It comes right off my hands with um, a nail brush and some hand soap. So, with the first one, I'm going to put some pink on there, pour it in my hands. And I'm just going to sprinkle it all over the top, being generous. And if there are parts of the edges that um, are more covered than others, don't worry about it. It'll just add to the pretty translucent effect of these flowers. Okay, 
So I've pretty much finished those like that. And if there's any, um, there's a lot of extra glitter, I don't worry about it because once everything's completely dried, I can sweep it up as long as, um, I, as long as I'm using all one color on one, uh, sheet of wax paper. Okay. So, um, the next one, of course, is going to be a different color. I'm just going to stir that around. Make sure it's covered. Alright, and this looks pretty good, actually. I'm going to set this right here, and then put in the last one. So I did a pretty good job estimating how much uh, triple thick I need, and so there's not a lot of waste. And you'll be able to estimate a lot better after you do your, your first ones. Okay, so now I'm going to lay this down. And I'm going to put the blue on. Did I say purple earlier? It just dawned on me. I meant blue. <laughs> Let me turn it. Here we go. Yeah, so I did pretty good estimating on these two. Alright. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to let these dry for about, about an hour and then I'm going to pick them up and flip them over on the back up to where the back is face up. And then I'm going to allow them to dry overnight, okay? So let me do this and then we'll come back. Okay, they have been drying for one hour. So let's flip these guys over. Put them in an area where it's not all gloppy. If you want to do this on another piece of uh, wax paper, you can. But I'm just using this for now, so I won't waste it. Okay, so we're going to allow these to dry overnight, and then we'll finish them up. Okay, so I flipped these back over and as you can tell these are completely dried and so what I did was I took just a, a soft paint brush and just brushed the excess glitter off and there wasn't actually very much glitter that came off because this triple thick really holds this down well. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is uh, you're going to need the little um, foam mounting tape and I bought this at the Dollar Tree quite a while ago and it's just some little um, mounts to give this some dimension. Now these are sticky back but that's okay and I'm just going to cut a little piece off that and then I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on this. I'm going to set it right smack in the middle on one of the petals and peel this off and then with the, I don't know if you can see this or not, this is the Caribbean um, flower that we made with the Caribbean glitter in it. Okay, so now we're going to glue this on, but you want to make sure that 
the top leaves are in between the bottom leaves so it'll look fuller okay so I'm going to peel this little piece of paper off which I guess it's already off hmm I wonder how that happened okay some hot glue on there and set this just like so just like that hold it for a second all right so I'm going to put a little pearl in the middle that this little pearl has holes so I want the holes to go from side to side so it won't be that noticeable so I'm just going to put a tiny dot of hot glue here, not a lot, just a little and I'm going to set my tooth, my, uh, my pearl right here with my toothpick I'm just going to let it set for a minute so I can pull my toothpick out without a problem. There we go. See how pretty it looks? Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing with the pink ones here, but we're not finished yet. So stay with me. And I'm going to cut another little rectangle off these this foam mounting tape. And some hot glue here, just like this, and I think I'm going to put this right here, I'm going to peel the top part off, now you're going to do the same thing, you're going to put the top leaf, or top petal in between the two bottom petals all the way around. So I'm going to put some hot glue here and I'll put that just about there. I think that'll work. So now, I'm going to place this little flat back pink iridescent pearl that I bought at Michael's in this package here. Okay. So let me put this over and put just a little bit of hot glue. And I'm going to set that right in the middle. Okay, so now you're going to take a little popsicle stick or something equivalent. <laughs> and if you're using the triple thick, um, then that's fine. If you're using the Mod Podge One Coat Super Gloss, that's fine too. I just find that with a triple thick, it holds on to the German glass glitter really well. I'm not saying the Mod Podge won't, I just, this is just thicker though. Alright, just going to kind of go around that pearl. Like that. And once it goes around the pearl like this, I'm just going to kind of spread it out a little bit with my stick just like that okay and then I'm going to take my German glass glitter and I'll have the link to the gal who sells this Debbie on my blog just click on this project and the page will open up and you'll be able to see the link so it's really easy I'm going to take the opposite end of this stick and I'm just going to push 
this down a little bit just because I don't like any of the shards sticking up. So I'm just pushing it down, making sure that the triple thick grabs onto that glitter. Okay. Now I'm not going to shake it, okay? I'm just going to tip it over once. Just once. All right. Now, once this dries, it'll be clear and you'll see beautiful little hint of sparkle in the middle. So we're going to allow that to dry thoroughly. And I'm going to do the same thing here with the, the little pink blossom. I'm just going to kind of drip this triple thick around and then spread it out a little bit. Just like this. And then the German glass glitter. And the name of the actual store uh, th is called Sugar Camp Cottage, where you get the German glass glitter. However, her eBay name is Reed Reed. But her email address, Debbie's email address, um, is sugarcamp at live.com if you have any questions. Okay, so we're going to come back and push this glass back in to the triple thick so it will grab. Turn it over once without shaking it and we will let this dry. Okay, so after these are completely dry, and I will let them dry for quite a few hours, then we'll come back and I'll, I'll show you what everything looks like. Okay, so these have been drying for about 10 hours, and I made a couple of extra when I was off camera, so that's why there's more here. But I wanted to show you how they turned out, and I do have one more thing to do to these, so don't go away. This is the pretty Caribbean glitter that we used for this one. And I love these because they do have kind of a translucent look to them. And here's the pink one that we made. And I made another pink one. I thought those were pretty. And I used the Recollections Ultra Fine Glitter in the color Orchid with this one. I did that off camera and I didn't put any color in this one I just used the um, ultra fine iridescent glitter in glitz I thought that turned out pretty so I was thinking these would be really nice if they had some leaves with them and you can use any ribbon you want whether it be the wide wire ribbon or the um, smaller ribbon on the rolls so I found this I bought this last Christmas when they had them marked down to like 70% off something like that I thought it was unusual and so I thought well this, this would be really a nice thing to make leaves out of this would be really delicate I think so I cut off about mm, maybe inch and a half or so and I'm just cutting these into a teardrop shape or a leaf shape just going around like like this and I thought it would be nice to kind of hot glue it Isn't that pretty and I think it would be look nice to have two of them on each flower and so I already cut these apart, so I'm just going to do this. Just put, the, just kind of rub a little hot glue on here. I'm not really squirting anything, I'm just kind of rubbing it on. And so I'm going to put that on there like that. And then, oops. Let it 
cool for a second. Okay, and then I'm just going to put a, rub a little more hot glue on here. And put it about like that. And I think that looks really nice. So, um, you can do that on all your flowers and make your leaves as large or as small as you want. And like I said, you can do it on any ribbon. I, there's some sparkly ribbon out there. I'll bet this would be really pretty using that. And then cut another one. Now, I won't do all these flowers on camera, but I'm just doing a couple of them here. And then I'll finish the rest off camera. And I wish this, I knew what this was called. All it says is ribbon. <laughs> but Michael's has some really pretty ribbon um, ribbons out during the holidays, but I never pay full price for ribbon. At Michael's, Joann's, or anywhere. I always wait for that 60 to 70 percent off. Okay, I gotta wait for it to cool each time. I don't like to wait, I get impatient. <laughs> Alright, so I think that's pretty. I'll leave that there. And I'll just continue doing the rest off camera and then I'll show you the final results. Okay, so we have our beautiful little flowers made. And I really like the way they turned out. Had a lot of fun with them. And you can use these on so many different projects, anywhere from Christmas to spring projects. So I hope you give these a try. And God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.